This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we're going to look at an interesting compound, urolithin A, which has been shown to increase mitochondrial health. We recently interviewed Dr. Anurag Singh, one of the authors of the paper that we will go through in this video. Before we release the interview, we wanted to provide an introduction to urolithin A, where it comes from and some of its benefits. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. We will use this paper, Impact of Natural Compound Urolithin A on Health, Disease and Aging. Dr. Singh was one of the authors. First, a quick overview. Urolithin A is made in the gut by the gut microbiome but only 40% of people appear to have the right environment to convert the dietary precursors to UA. There have been a number of preclinical and clinical trials showing benefits of UA in health and age-related conditions. The mechanism of action appears to be mostly through increased mitophagy, which is the removal of unhealthy mitochondria and also reduced inflammation. And in conclusion, UA is a promising molecule to target health and disease conditions of aging, especially those linked to mitochondrial or muscle dysfunction. How do we get urolithin A? The precursors to UA are elargitanids and elargic acid, which are types of polyphenol. They're available in various foods, such as fruits and nuts. About 40% of people have the correct microbes in the gut to convert this into urolithin A. They are still investigating which microbe species are required, but according to Dr. Singh, it seems to be more complex than just having one specific species. The alternative is to take a urolithin A supplementation, which can then be directly absorbed. So if you can make urolithin A, what are the best sources of the elegitanins? Pomegranates are the most famous and the best source, but they are also plentiful in raspberries, strawberries and walnuts. We do talk about those in the interview and Dr. Singh said that five glasses of pomegranate juice would be required to generate the equivalent of 500 milligrams of urolithin A. How does UA work? UA's most consistent effect is the improvement in mitochondrial health, which it achieves by encouraging mitophagy the particular form of autophagy that recycles mitochondria. As we get older, mitophagy, just like autophagy, decreases. So restoring it is a good way to restore organ function. We won't go into detail, but UA has two paths that it uses to identify damaged mitochondria and mark them for mitophagy. They are then transported to a lysosome, absorbed and broken down. This has been shown in C. elegans, mice and humans. The removal of old mitochondria causes the generations of new one. In human trials, there was an increase in the expression of mitochondrial gene sets in the muscle. Let's have a quick look at what's been seen in preclinical trials for UA. UA extended lifespan in C. elegans by 45%. UA was given to mice which showed enhanced skeletal muscle strength and improved aerobic performance which would make sense for improved mitochondrial health. It also increased the voluntary running of mice and rats. Pre-treatment with UA reduced the damage during an ischemic event and also improved the lipid profile of treated animals. In a mouse model of Alzheimer's, it reduced amyloid plaques and tau levels, two of the most relevant markers linked to AD, and protected against the effects of strokes in vivo. UA protected against cartilage degeneration, specifically in the case of intravertebral discs, and in osteoarthritis in knee joints. It was shown to reduce pro-inflammatory cytokines in plasma, particularly interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-6, and TNF-alpha. In models of induced inflammatory bowel disease, the level of inflammation was lowered by UA which supports that it helps against gut barrier dysfunction. For mice fed on a high fat diet, it did help with the lipid panel markers. Although in this study, it had no effect on body weight or fat mass. However, in another study, it did reduce the fat and the body weight. 
And finally, in acute kidney injury, UA consistently help reduce the damage. That was a quick summary of what's been seen in preclinical trials. But what matters most is human studies. These have started and there are some results. There are also a number of other trials in progress, which we discuss in the interview. The first area is looking at associations of UA with health. In this study, subjects were fed foods high in elagitanins or elagic acid, and then plasma and urine was tested for the presence of UA. Three groups were identified. Those that did produce UA, called metabotite A, those made up 25 to 80% of the populations in the various groups. Those that produced urolithin B, 10 to 50% of the populations, called metabotite B, and those that produce no urolithin, 5 to 25% of the populations, called metabotype 0. It was found that the MA group had BMI in the normal range and better gut health. Higher plasma UA was associated with better endothelial function. But it seems that the number of metabotype A's decline with age, so less old people will be able to make UA from the precursors. One randomized double-blind placebo-controlled phase one clinical trial has been completed. Subjects were healthy males and females between 61 and 85. No observable side effects were seen with a single 2000 milligram dose or 1000 milligrams per day for 28 days. It was bioavailable with a half-life of 17 to 22 hours, which is a reasonable time compared to many other supplements. The subject showed increased markers of mitochondrial health from muscle biopsies, and there was a decrease in the level of plasma acyl carnitines, which shows improved metabolic health. Therefore, the study showed that UA is safe, bioavailable, and positively impacts mitochondrial health. So in summary, urolithin A looks interesting. Mitochondria are how we generate our energy and so are key to metabolism. And mitochondrial dysfunction is one of the hallmarks of aging. Having something to clear up the dysfunctional ones so that they can be replaced sounds good. We will release the interview soon where we go into more detail on some of these topics with Dr. Singh.